guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. I sent an email out to my uh, newsletter followers asking for ideas for tutorials and here's what I'm going to do today. It's from David. He asked if I could, um, how to turn uh, public domain images or just any picture into a t-shirt design. Um, now he sent me this photo of a of a tiger here, so I'm going to work with this for the tutorial. You could just um, throw in a full color image onto a t-shirt. You would be using a transfer method, which is not the best method for making t-shirts. It's, it's low, they're low quality. I prefer going with the silk screen method, but unfortunately we do require um, vector images, so it's got to be one or two or maybe three colors. He sent me this image, so we're going to work with this one today, but I'm just going to show you how to get to this point first. So what you would want to do is, you know, get any picture of a tiger, There's a good one right here. You would copy that, bring that into Photoshop. Now, first thing I want to do, I'm going to go really quickly through here, but I mean, you could spend some detail. First, we would want to select our image. Then we can delete the background. Then we want, want to make it black and white. Image adjustment and desaturate. Okay, then we're going to go apply some curves. What we want to do is get a very, very high contrast. Very, very high contrast because all we're looking for is black and white because our, our black is going to be our ink and our white is going to be our, well, the t shirt color. So, um, already you kind of see where we're going here. What I would do is maybe brush in the outline. Obviously, I didn't do a very nice selection, but I mean, you can put a lot more work into it. Okay, so let's work with the image I received here. So let's work with this one here. Okay, it's pretty high contrast already, but I want to get rid of these grays. So what I want to do is once again, get my curves and just up the contrast so that we're getting really just the black and the whites here. Pretty good. There's a bit of stuff in there, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we're then going to merge this image. We're going to copy it. Now, Dave, I know you said uh, you wanted me to keep this in Photoshop. Unfortunately, I do need to use Illustrator to convert to vector. I'm going to open up Illustrator here, get a new canvas, and paste directly from Photoshop here. Now, nice and easy, all we're going to do is come up here to the image trace. And all that's going to do is it's going to trace our image and convert it to pixels. We can then hit expand, and now we now have a vector image of, of our t-shirt. Okay, well we got to do those remove the white because right now we have some we have uh, black and we do all, we do also have white. So I'm going to get the direct selection tool, the white the hollowed out white uh, arrow, click and then come up here to select same fill color. That's going to select all the white. Simply hit delete and now we're left with only the black. Okay, so if we wanted to put see how that would look on a t-shirt, we can bring that back into Photoshop. I have uh, one of my t-shirt templates here. You can get these on uh, the site 10minutephotoshop.com. I'm going to paste and bring that in here. We're going to hit a blending option, color the overlay. I'm just going to make it black. I mean, you could uh, you can go with a kind of a Superman look if you want, but black is good. There you go. Let's get some writing in there. Nothing fancy. I'm going to write tiger. It's a cool eroded font right there. Right there, that looks pretty cool. Give it a mask, give me a brush and look at that. All right, that's a pretty cool t-shirt design right there, nice and easy. Um, obviously there's a lot more we could do to it, but I mean, it's, this, it's just that simple. Grab an image from the internet, uh, desaturate it, remove the color, make it black and white, and then using curves, uh, give it some high contrast as much as possible. If you got three colors, if you have like a, um, if you're not unable to get a perfect kind of black and white, you can go black, gray, white, and then when you trace it in Illustrator, instead of doing a two color trace, a black and white trace, give it a three color trace, and then you'll get kind of a a, a white, gray, and black, and then remove the white, and then you're left with the gray and black, bring it into Photoshop. You can make those two colors any color you want. Okay, just that simple. Thanks for the uh, tutorial request, guys. Um, hopefully, I answered some questions. And um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and if you like, please like below, comment below, and tell me what you thought of the tutorial. Tell me other tutorials you'd like to see. All right? See you next time. Have a nice day.